potato in your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Allie Can Cook featuring Mama McManus. Hi, I'm Mama McManus. And I'm Allie. And on today's episode, we are back in our kitchen. Yay! No oh, mosquitoes. Yes. No bugs. No bugs. We have returned from our vacations from the farm, and we're back here, and we're back to our regular routine, I guess. Yeah. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a taste test video of a recipe that I found on the Minimalist Baker's website for these hash brown muffins for breakfast. Yep. We're going to do a bit of a variation on it, and I'll explain that later on in the video. But yeah, so we're going to try out these hash brown muffin breakfast idea things. Well, the reason we're calling them muffins is we're cooking them in a muffin tin. Yes. Okay. So if you guys want to see how we made these and how they turned out and what we think of them, keep watching. First thing you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees and then get two muffin tins and line them with coconut oil throughout. After you've lined your baking tins with coconut oil, you're going to want to start to prep your potatoes. So you're going to need four cups of finely grated rustic potatoes. We're going to wash and peel our potatoes. And then we're going to use a grater to grate them into um, fine Okay, so after you've prepped your potatoes and finely grated them, you're going to want to prep your vegetables that you're going to put into the hash brown muffins. So, in her recipe, she used corn and parsley, I believe. We don't like corn. Well, we like corn, but we thought we'd try out putting some more... I like corn. So, we thought instead we'd try it out with some red and green pepper, a little bit of jalapeno, one shallot and some coriander. I know coriander is not for everyone, so if it isn't for you, definitely use parsley. Yeah. You want to be able to cut them up fine. So like a corn, like a yeah. niblet, they need to be that size so that they bake nicely. So after you've cut up all of your vegetables finely, you're going to want to add them into the bowl with your shredded potatoes. After you've added in your vegetables, you need to add in two tablespoons of melted coconut oil. After you've added in the coconut oil, you're going to want to add in a tablespoon of cornstarch. And then after that, a half a teaspoon of salt and pepper. And once that's all added, you just want to mix up your mixture so everything's well combined and then you're ready to add them into your muffin tins. So you just want to add the mixture into the muffin tins and push it down so they're about a quarter full. And you want to like mend them into muffin shapes with your hand. So after you've filled up all your tins and pushed them down, you're going to want to bake them for 20 minutes at 375. Then after 20 minutes has passed, you're going to want to crank your oven up to 425 and bake them for another 10 to 12 minutes just depending on your oven and that's really going to crisp them up. Hey guys, so that is how you make these hash brown vegan muffins. One thing we did notice when we were taking them out of the tins is you want to make sure you use a lot of coconut oil and you maybe we would have probably used a little bit, yeah, more, a bit filling, more filling just to give it more of a substance. And we are trying out vegan sour cream which I'm excited about my mom. I found it. I found it at Whole Foods. So it's tofu. I love tofu cream cheese so I have high hopes for this. 
I also sprinkled a little bit of hot sauce on it. Alrighty, so we're gonna dig in now. Add some of the sour cream. Mmm. Yeah. Wow. But A tastes like sour cream. B it does? really good hash browns. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, these can make nice appetizers. Forget breakfast. I mean nice for breakfast too, mm -hmm. but. And the fact that we didn't put corn in and we put more vegetables mm. in, that's really... They're really, really yummy. You can also, she says they're good hot, like eating them hot, but you can also freeze them if you want as well. And there's instructions for how to freeze them in the link below. But wow, that is really good. I like that a lot. And I'm pumped about the sour cream. That's awesome. Yeah, you're gonna let me get in there and have yeah. a little bit. I really like the sour really, cream. Yeah, and the hot sauce, when it's crispy, that's like one, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we would definitely recommend trying this recipe out. It's really yummy, uh, all vegan. Yeah, super delicious. Super delicious. Decently easy to make. We just kind of threw the ingredients oh, in yeah. one bowl and Not mixed hard it to up. Do it all. So yeah, definitely try this one out, guys. It tastes amazing. Shout out to the minimalist baker for recommending this recipe. Mm -hmm. We did change it up a bit from hers. So if you try it with corn, let us know what you think of it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. We make new videos every single Thursday. As well, follow us on Instagram. It's at Allie Can Cook. We post different updates and little motivational stuff. Right? Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys next Thursday. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. The sour cream has made my world. Now you found it, right? Mm-hmm.